I grew up in Brisbane and I did architecture here and Robin Dodds was a name one always heard. But it wasn't until I'd been away from the place and I spent 10 years in Britain and in Europe. And when I returned, I saw this work with a better understanding and I wanted to know more about the work and the person who'd done it. And I found by doing a little bit of research that there wasn't very much good information out there. I guess one would uh, get the impression that, that Dodds had only done houses um, from what had been written and what people said, but he did far more than that. In fact, he did an incredible amount of work in the 20 years that he practiced in Brisbane. Dodds had the advantage of coming from a family of means and a family that was educated. That certainly helps one's career, but you have to have the, the charisma and the, the connections and be able to put it all together with the skills of what you do, and he seemed to have all of those things. I'm an architect and I know how difficult it is to do good buildings, and here was someone who was doing good building after good building, so I thought, you know, how is this possible? Firstly, you have to have the talent, but secondly, you have to have clients who will allow you to exercise that talent, and Dodd seemed to be able to do all of this. The first project that actually caused him to go into partnership with Hall, as Hall and Dodds, was at the Royal Brisbane Hospital, and it was a competition for a new nurse's home, which he won straight out of coming from London and as a result of that he became architect for that hospital which has grown into the largest hospital in Australia and through his association with the Sisters of Mercy he got to do what became the finest hospital at the time it was built in Australia which was the Martyr Hospital, a brand new hospital on a new site at South Brisbane. So they're two very big projects but Hall & Dodds was a large commercial firm. It became the largest commercial firm in Brisbane, so they did a lot of commercial buildings of all sizes. A lot of them are not here anymore. There were some very fine commercial buildings in Queen Street, for instance, that are now gone. Major projects like the Marta Hospital, the same at the Royal Brisbane Hospital, like all hospitals, just keeps getting bigger and bigger, and the original Dodds work is a bit hidden so it comes down to the houses and the churches have been the real survivors because churches don't get changed to nearly the same extent as commercial buildings do and we're standing in front of probably one of the best known. Not all these projects cost a lot of money I mean we didn't have a lot of money in Brisbane so the work is sometimes quite frugal, but it was always inventive and, and, and always carefully delivered. With houses, Hall and Dodds were probably responsible for something like 250 houses. Some of them were quite economical and they were just four room cottages and done for investment. But again, there is a care there that makes them different. We built in timber because it was cheaper and Dodge showed that you could build in timber in a really good way, a way to be proud of by using our skills. And this is partly to do with his arts and crafts approach, that you do look at the area you're building in and you pick up those traditions. That was very important to an arts and crafts architect, to look at the traditions of the place, look at the materials that it had that are different to other places and develop a regional style but infuse it with all sorts of things from all over the place and um, sort of mix it together. Now, not everyone could do that well, but Dodds could. And it's all about how you put buildings together and how you get the proportions right and how you use materials that illustrate their textures and so on. And um, that's what's apparent in his work. It's, it's, it's just better than a lot of work that was going on. In the 1970s, a lot of good buildings were removed. Queensland had an unfortunate history in that respect. I mean, we were the last state to ever have any heritage legislation. When I came back to Brisbane after being away for 10 years, I mean, there was a war going on here about whether you could 
keep things or, or not. The people were out demonstrating for the Regent Theatre and uh, the Bellevue had just been demolished and then Cloudland got demolished. It was the beginning of the realisation that perhaps there were more important things than just building new buildings and what sort of a city we had and what sort of a city we should have um, suddenly became discussed. Good buildings of any era are the inspiration that, uh, that architects who are working need all the time to inform their work and uh, the, the idea that these arts and crafts architects had about regionalism seems to me quite valid today, that we should be aware of what's going on and where we are practising and where we live and our obligations to recognising what's the best work and looking after it. I think important lessons have been learned and I'm quite enthusiastic about the future and our, our knowledge of, of these things is, is much better than it was and the appreciation also.